Good morning, boys and girls. How are you doing? I hope that you are waking up and getting ready to brush your teeth and or maybe you've already brushed your teeth and washed your face and just ready to exercise. This is uh, Teacher Zola from the School of Healing Martial Arts in Long Beach, California. And before we get to the class, Let's talk about Dr. Daniel Hoover and Veronica Hoover and their YouTube videos on Tai Chi. And they have um, Tai Chi where they're showing the 24 Tai Chi Yang form and the applications, which are really, really, really helpful. Plus, Dr. Daniel Hoover, that's H-O-O-B-E-R, has several other videos that I'm sure will help you improve your own Tai Chi. Well, I'm going to be talking about snake creeps through the grass. Snake creeps through the grass. But before we get into snake creeps through the grass, the form for this series of 24 Tai Chi bit by bit, doing one movement at a time, I want to suggest something that you can do to improve your Tai Chi form. Now, each of the movements, if you do them several times, say 10 times, you do the beginning one, where you step out, raise your arms, shoulder roll, bend your knees as your arms come down. Again, you'll be stepping out, raise your arms, shoulder roll, bend your knees as your arms come down. Ten times. If you do parting the wild horses make, when we step out, parting the wild horses make. Parting the wild horse's mane. And say it as you do it. Parting the wild horse's mane. Repeat it. Parting the wild horse's mane. Parting the wild horse's mane. And you see, I did it in a circular area. So if you don't have a large area to do your form in, do it in the round, you might say. You can do white crane spreads its wings. So this would be after the last parting, the wild horse's mane. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's before. Come think of it. <laughs> All right. So we've got parting wild horse's mane. Then empty step, white crane spreads its wings. Party while horse is made. Empty step. White crane spreads his wings. Again. Party while horse is made. Empty step. Fall. White crane spreads his wings. Let's see. Again. Stepping out with the left. Left hand goes up. Party while horse is made. And. The right hand goes down. There's the empty step where the right foot comes up, make a ball, and white crane spreads its wings. And make sure that's very circular. So if you repeat each of the steps 10 times, brush knee, twist up 10 times, white crane spreads its wings 10 times, and um, repulse monkey. Or pulse monkey just over and over and over again. So from strum the loop, repulse monkey. Repulse monkey. And you repeat the name. Repulse monkey. Repulse monkey. Come up here, strum the loop. Repulse monkey, circle back. 
sir. Paul's monkey. Uh, let's do um, ward off and grasp the bird's tail. So step out, ward off, grasp the bird's tail, bring it down, circle, press, and clear, and push. Roll right, fall, ward off, grasp the bird's tail, bring it down, circle, press, and clear, and push. Let's do it again. Stepping out, ward off, grasp the bird's tail, bring it down, circle, press, and clear, and push. Roll right, adjusting the left foot. Fall, stepping out, ward off. Grasp the bird's tail, bring it down, circle. Press, and clear, and push. Then of course, single whip. If you do it this way, or if you do it this way. Single whip. Here, sit back, sit here. And the idea is if you keep doing the, just the certain movements over and over again, it gives you a chance to know more your body, know the form, make sure that you're doing those important shifts of the weight, folding of the water in a sense, back and forth, ever so smoothly though, right? Even your kicks, when you get through your kicks, let's see here. When you start off, what is it? Remember, the leg, if I kick with the left leg, the left hand is in the front. If I kick with the right leg, the right hand is in front. So, So what you want to do is if you have this asterisk on the ground, what you'll be doing is breathing in, breathing out. Go to the next one or go in the opposite direction. Oops, <laughs> let's try it again. Don't get discouraged, nobody's perfect. So, you know, and that's good for you just to keep practicing your kicks, all right? Let me see if I can find a little firmer ground here. Ah, I think this is a little flatter here. Not really. Okay. Try to get it on flat ground. All right. Try to be on flat, on a flat surface. Or if you're doing, if you're going to kick low, kick low. All right, the idea is for it to be steady and smooth. And also when hitting opponent's ears with both fists, make sure that's round. And this could be a warm up. If you do each of the movements over and over again, it could be a good warm up for you or a cool down. Now, we're going to go from, let's see here, our last move was the kicks, right? So, um, we've done a right heel kick, land forward, hit opponent's ears with both fists. Make sure that they're round, your arms are round, not straight, right? Open your hands, turn, 
and then you're going to do a left heel kick. Then it's like a brief flamingo, they say, and the snake creeps through the grass. And the storks, Mr. Snake. <coughs> I want to go over snake creeps through the grass because it's a little more complicated than some of the basic moves that we do. They say, um, this is the stork. Try to put all the fingers together and sort of have an egg shape. Right? All the fingers together, sort of an egg shape. Right? So, this or I should say, this is a crane. This is the crane. Sorry, crane, crane, and this is the snake. So, the crane wants to get the snake. So the crane goes down, the snake goes down, the snake goes in one direction, and the crane goes in the other direction. Okay. So again, we've got the crane. Make sure the arm is round. Got the snake. The crane goes down, the snake goes down. The crane goes in one direction, the snake goes in the other direction. So let's do it from the, the move itself. So if I'm going to step out this way, the snake goes down, the crane goes down. Open up the foot that the snake is going to go through. Adjust your back leg, adjust your front leg, so that you can come up for rooster stand. Now, if I'm going in the other direction, here's the crane, here's the snake. Step out. Again, the foot turns. Adjust the back leg. Come up for another rooster stand. So let me go from the very beginning to snake creeps down. Okay? Here we go from the very beginning. Open. Shift your weight right. Step out left. Arms come up, shoulder roll. Bend your knees as your arms come down. Shift your weight to the right. Open up the left toe. Down the ball. And bring it in. Stepping out and back for parting while horse is made. Make sure that the knee does not go past the toe. Ball. Step out. Parting while horse is made. Shift back. Fall, step out, party while horse is made. Hand is up almost to the mouth right there. Empty step for the ball. White crane spreads his wings. Locking left. Flip your hands. Locking right. Flip your hands. Brush knee twist step. Left hand comes over the left knee. Shift back. Hands are on the left. Goes over the right knee. Shift back. And go over the left knee. Empty step. From the loop. The pulse monkey. Right hand goes back. Left leg goes back. And turn on the right toe. As your left hand goes back. Stepping back right. Right hand goes back, the left hand goes forward, turning on the left toe. Step back left, turning on the right toe as the hands cross. Swimming, swimming backwards, swimming backwards again. Gather your ball and bring it in. Stepping out, ward off. Grasp that bird's tail. Bring it down and do that big circle. That's good. You're doing great. Press and clear. Foot goes up. Push up and roll right. And ball. Stepping out and back. 
wore it off. Make sure you turn your waist. Grab the bird's tail, bring it down, circle, press, shift back, lift up that right foot, and push. Facing the front, front, adjusting the right foot, left shoulder back, right shoulder back, pull out, pull in, step out, and pat. Be sure to adjust that back foot. Wave hands like clouds. Step up. Bring it left. Bring it right. Step out left. Bring it right. Same whip. Left shoulder back. Right shoulder back. Pull it out. And in and pat. Empty step. High pad on horse. High pad on horse. Avoid the sweep. Step down. Balance yourself. Right heel fish. And forward. Get a forward and see us with both fists. Not up too high, but down too low. Open your hands. Try to get flat surface. This is snake creeps through the grass. And rooster stand. Again, grab the branch of the crane. Step out. Turn that foot. Shift back. Adjusting as we come up again for another rooster stand. So, with this lesson, this is lesson eight of um, 24 Tai Chi, Yang, bit by bit. We've done left heel kick. We've done the brief flamingo as you go into snake creeps through the grass. And rooster stick. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've done quite a few in a row. Again, we're going to be doing And then heel kick. Oops. Heel kick. The flamingo. Step out. And they crease of the grass. And rooster stand. Right? I'm going to pave this one day and get it all flat. <laughs> okay. So, again, we're going to go from. Right heel kick, land forward, hit opponent's ears with both fists. Open your hands, turn around, and you're going to do a left heel kick. Do flamingo, step out, snake creep through the grass, and rooster stand. Okay. Now with the rooster stand, you want the foot dropped down. You don't want it up like that. Now, I think that's quite a lot for one new lesson of 24 Tai Chi Yang, bit by bit. All right. Um, it's important that you exercise. A lot of studies have shown that if you exercise, it helps the brain. It helps give your body more energy. It helps, oddly enough, so that you don't want to eat as much because the body is nourishing itself. And as long as you're eating healthy, regular meals, then you don't have such a craving to eat in between your meals. You know, maybe a healthy snack like some peanuts or almonds or apples or some fruit. But you'll find your cravings go down if you exercise. And exercise builds new brain cells. Isn't that awesome? That if you get up and exercise, it improves your brain. And we all need that. It helps you so that as you get older, you don't have to worry so much about Alzheimer's, dementia, but then you're able to grasp and remember more if you exercise. It's 
That's what science is telling us. Science, facts, real facts. Now, it's early morning. It's already hot out here. But I hope you will get up and exercise into your Tai Chi or some form of exercise, whether it be yoga, running, walking, even 20 minutes of walking. It's good for you every single day. So I'm hoping, Tasha, that you're getting up and exercising. Alfred as well, Steve, Helen, Lily, Mark. Mark, you need to get up and exercise. And friends, family, Russell, Tanya, Charles, Stephanie, Ava, Molly, Molly, Lania, um, Daniel, Veronica, so many people I'm trying to remember, so many names um, that are so special to me and are in my heart. I want you to stay healthy. I want you to exercise. Hi, little birdie. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, they say that uh, it's not that I'm old, it's just that I'm a kid, been a kid for a long time. And for those kids that have been kids for a long time, don't forget to exercise. With that, I'm going in before I melt. It's so hot out here. Bye now. See you next time.